What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you the Tire Pressure Monitoring System, or TPMS, sensor matching process for GM vehicles. I will show you two different methods and two different vehicles, with a reset tool and without a reset tool, in a 2009 Impala and a 2014 Impala. I also have an important warning that will save you from a serious situation during the matching process, so stay tuned. Maybe you have rotated your tires, or maybe you have just switched between a set of winter and summer tires. Whichever the case, when you move wheels, the TPMS needs to be reprogrammed. First, I will quickly describe the process. Then, we'll do it. Step 1. Enter Learning Mode. Different vehicles have different processes for entering TPMS Relearn Mode. I will show you the process for the 2009 and 2014 Impala. Step 2. Read the tire pressure sensor information for each tire, starting from the front left wheel, going clockwise around the vehicle, ending at the rear left wheel. Then the matching process is complete. Now let's do it, and I'll show you all the detail. I'm going to use the reset tool. There is a way to do it without a tool in some vehicles. But it's more involved. From what I understand, GM vehicles from 2011 and up need a tool to reset the TPMS system. On older vehicles, you can use the tool or an alternate method. The alternate method is to change the air pressure in the tire. Let the air out of the tire, then the pressure will drop, notifying the system that that is the wheel that needs to be learned. When you complete this for all four wheels, you will need to go back and add air to all of your tires. I'm using the tool method. The specific tool that I have is the VXDAS-OEC-T5 for GM vehicles. There are many tools that look just like this, but this one was on Amazon's number one bestseller list with over 5,000 ratings and four and a half stars. The tool costs less than $10. For me, it was worth every penny. I personally prefer the tool method. You just hold it up to the tire and press a button. It takes 30 seconds to do the whole job. But I have nothing against the air down and refill method. It's just personal preference. First, set the transmission to park. Turn the ignition switch to on, then enter learn mode. For this 2014 Impala, go to the tire pressure screen, then hold down the right arrow on the steering wheel for a few seconds until the car horn beeps twice. When it beeps twice, it's in learn mode. Next, I believe you have two minutes to sync each wheel, but with the tool, it only takes a few seconds. First, go to the front left wheel. Hold the antenna of the tool up to the tire, right next to the rim, in line with the valve stem, then press the button. The car horn will beep once to signal that it has learned that wheel. Then onto the right front wheel. Also, the blinker of the wheel that currently needs to be learned will be illuminated. We'll repeat the process going clockwise around the vehicle. When you hear the horn beep two times in a row after the fourth tire is done, that means the sensor matching process is complete and you're all set. Very quickly, we will perform the same process in the 2009 Impala. This vehicle used a different method to enter learn mode, which I will show you. And I will also share an important warning to prevent a serious situation. To enter learn mode in the 2009 Impala, after the key is in the on position, simultaneously hold down the lock and unlock buttons on the key fob for about 5 seconds until the car horn beeps twice, signifying that it is entered learn mode. Here's the tip. Danger, danger, warning, warning. When you're sitting in the car, 
with the key in the on position. When you hold the lock and unlock buttons on the key fob at the same time to activate learn mode, pressing the lock button will lock the doors. If you then get out and close the door to go around and learn all the wheels, when you try to get back in, you may find that you're locked out. The keys will be sitting in the ignition and all your doors will be locked. Don't get locked out of your car. Bring the key fob with you or roll your windows down. We've made it all the way around. That wraps up the sensor matching process for this car as well. As always, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, just leave them in the comments below. Please give the video a like and subscribe. I'm making new videos frequently, at least once a week. I'll see you in the next video.